Hi, Smash Appearance from New Zealand. Brent Fisher from Eurotech Products in Brisbane, Australia. We've been speaking to you, uh, you guys about uh, the Tillman 10,000 inverter spot welder. Two of you are going to be the recipient of a very highly discounted product to get them into New Zealand. We've had many, many inquiries. We've had um, for the Tillman products, spot welders and silicon bronze MIG welder. This is our uh, most popular seller. We've sold hundreds of them in Australia. The Tillman 10,000, the true inverter spot welder. Double side, single side gun, seven sets of arms, and a slide hammer dead system. We'll just run through the, how you set them up. You plug the end of the back of them, three phase lead, 20 amps only. Turn them on. They're also very easy to use, these products. All you do after it's been turned on goes through its paces. You press start. Comes up high string steel. It's set up the high string steel right now. Well, it'll come to you pre programmed. I'll just use a double side gun. Fits nicely to the holster in the side of the machine. Comes with seven sets of arms. Brandy, here's a bit of a look at some of the arms in there. Up to 500 mil boot floor arms. It also comes with wheel arch arms. Pull, pull the trigger, does it all by itself. All you do is hold your finger on the trigger, it will weld all by itself. But, but if it can't do a good weld, it won't do one for some reason. They go from double side to single side. It also gives you a readout on the, on the screen as to how many answers you use for that particular weld, which is unique to the Telwin product. Single side to double side is very easy, the machine stays on. All you do is just change the trigger cable. Press your start button. And change your load setting. Back to FE2N. Hold your load setting down for three seconds. And you are single side welding. This is a single side gun. Same with a range of attachments. One for wiggly wire, one for single side spot weld. Simple as putting in the end of the nozzle here, do it up with a shifter spanner, and your single side weld. It also comes with a slide hammer denser. Same thing. Pop straight in the end, boom up the shifter spanner. You now have a single side denser. That weld to the panel. Pull the trigger, it'll weld to the panel, and away you go. Very, very, very easy to use. Now, <coughs> the machine comes with a trolley, fully set up, programmed. All you'll have to do is put a New Zealand plug on it. If, it hasn't, if you can't tell me what plug you use, it comes with an Australian plug. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it's exactly the same as New Zealand one. Um, can we get a picture of that, Brandy? What? Let's take a picture of the uh, New Zealand plug. That's the Australian three-phase plug it comes with. 32 amps, but, but the machine only, runs, only needs to run on 20 amps. The only reason we use the 32 amp plug is because this is the most popular plug in Brisbane, Australia. We'll be in contact in the next few days for some more information. Uh, it also comes with a range of attachments as options. One of them is a Seagun. We have a Seagun? It's over in the box. They, they move the box on you, up there. <laughs> this is a Seagun attachment for wheel arches, the manual clamp. Wheel arches and is non high strength steel, round headlights, that sort of stuff. It plugs into the uh, single side section here. You can see the it automatic, you reckon it's got an automatic tool recognition um, section, which is this particular one here. At the moment, you can't see it's not plugged in, it's all out in the daylight. We're at a panel shop, hence the background noise, for which we humbly apologise. Bear in mind, just rest assured, the Tillman 10,000 is probably the easiest to use on the market.
It's also one of the most cost effective. It's an air cool machine. You get up to up to a hundred spot wells before the thing will cut out. You can't fry these machines, they have an automatic uh, thermal overload in them. Uh, which is a safety factor. Turn yourself off. You'll use the compressed air from your shop to cool it down. Once it's cooled down five or ten minutes later, it'll turn itself back on again and away you go. A uh, very, very good machine. I'll talk to you all after we've sent this video email out to you all. Thank you for your attention, New Zealand Smash Repair.